Hey friends, welcome back. So, since I left you guys uh, with a little bit of reality on the last vlog, I thought I'd chime in and let you know how things have been going. Uh, I guess it's been a couple of weeks now since uh, that last one. Welcome to the vlog. So basically, we got into uh, Matawa, Ontario, the Lazy Rock there. And when I pulled in, I had half a tank of gas and $9 in my bank account. Yeah, running a little thin. So that said, how do I uh, elaborate on the following two weeks after that? Basically, I'm going to leave it like two steps forward, one step back. That seems to be the way things are going for me lately. To elaborate, uh, started getting some work. That's good. I'm getting a few hours a week. Um, that's helping. Um, I can always use some more. Um, I got a couple other things on the go. A friend of mine is looking to get some web stuff done. Um, he's just got to get his ducks in a row. Different things like that. And um, yeah, so I was starting to get some hours. Things were looking good. And then I logged into my MetaMask wallet, which is my crypto wallet. And something didn't look right. So I started looking into a couple of other things. And um, I wasn't wiped out, but my wallet was compromised. Um, thinking back now, I was pretty sure I clicked on a phishing link and probably gave them too much information and somehow they got in. Uh, long story short, I was having trouble with OpenSea, which is the NFT marketplace. And I reached out to support on Twitter and I think I got contacted by somebody who was pretending to be support. And yeah, being impatient and being frustrated, I probably clicked on something or gave them too much information or whatever. Live and learn. Uh, they got about um, $250 worth of a coin that I've invested in that's basically a, like a um, compounding coin. It's called Seifu. Uh, they got all my Seifu. Basically what they did is they just basically cashed it back out into um, Binance coin, which is BNB, and uh, took off with uh, the 200 bucks. Um, I do have other coins, but they're not on the wallet, right? It's just the, with the Seifu one, it was you know, had to be on the wallet. Yes, I'm looking into a cold storage wallet, but I mean, uh, right now I can't afford it and I don't have that much money in crypto yet. Uh, I'd like to get there, but I'm not there yet. So just kind of slowly building something there to see what happens. And uh, I'll let you know how that goes in the future. So basically that was one of the things. So more hours and then I got hacked. Um, that sucked a whole bunch of time because I then had to go in and basically I deleted my OpenSea account. So any NFTs that I had listed, uh, I lost a little bit of money there because the initial one you have to pay the gas fees on. And then after that, they're free. Um, I did that back in April. Uh, I don't even remember what it was, 50 bucks or something. So lost that. Starting over from scratch as far as the NFT marketplaces go. Um, I'm not going back to OpenSea. There's just no way. It was, it was glitchy from day one. I was having issues with uh, posting. Every time I tried to post a new one, it gave me some different new era, which is why I ended up on Twitter in the first place looking for support. And that led me down this rabbit hole of getting hacked. So yeah, not going to do it again. Um, anyways, looking at other options, um, looking at starting over. All my NFT stuff is wiped out. Uh, the website is updated to basically say they'll be back when I find a place to put them. I only sold one edition. Um, that was an edition out of 10. So basically this fellow Russ got uh, a one out of 10. And unless I repost it, it'll be a one of one that he got for uh, very cheap, which is highly possible. I've only been reposted again, just so that there's no conflicts down the road or anything like that. And uh, yeah, he's got it. And uh, that's that. And then there was a Monday morning, I woke up and this campground, I'm actually not close enough to get the Wi-Fi from the office. So I've been depending on my 
cell driven Wi-Fi. And there's the Monday morning I woke up and uh, Rogers, who is a major wireless internet credit card and debit processing, basically anything communications infrastructure. They're like one of the major players in Canada. Complete outage for a full day. So I actually lost um, some hours from work because I was unable to connect. Uh, I walked over to the office with my phone and messaged my boss and let them know. But yeah, the whole network was down for a good day. And when it came back, it didn't seem to be 100% for a good two, three days. Basically, once I used up my 20 gigabyte, the unlimited but slower data was pretty much useless. So that was a fun week. T-shirt sales have been dying a little bit, slowing down. People are just out and about, plus inflation and the cost of everything is probably not helping. But yeah, it's been an up and down roller coaster. Things are a little better. We're here at the Wawa RV Resort and Campground in Wawa, Ontario. And in a few days, we actually leave here and head to Winnipeg. And I have enough hours that uh, my gas is covered for the three day drive. I'm taking three days, basically. It's 1200, uh, 1200 kilometers. I'm just gonna do like 400 a day and take my time. I'm getting old friends. My days of driving 16 hours are getting a little few and far between. They're getting a little behind me. So anyways, um, that said, we're heading to Winnipeg and I'm going to catch up with my brother. He's there with his partner and uh, we're gonna hang out with the Michaels for a while and um, yeah, spend a few days there and I do have another campground booked after that, starting on the 29th of July. And that is the Lakeview Park Campground in Shoal Lake, Manitoba. So we will be out of Ontario finally. And uh, no offense, it's just, you know, it's a big province and it takes forever to get across. Even if you're just driving straight through, it's like, yeah. Anyway, welcome to Canada. I would have liked to explore a little bit more around here, but again, gas prices are still two bucks a liter and um, I got enough to get us to Winnipeg and for some groceries and then we're going to be cutting it close again until I get paid. So can't afford to be out gallivanting around on that two bucks a liter. Not right now. Not making enough money yet. That's about it. Just a quick update on how things are going because I'm trying to be a little more transparent on this adventure. Um, which is why I started the vlog in the first place. So here you go. So yeah, just a little bit of an update. Truck's still running okay. Trailer's still good. I'd like to be putting in some time and money into it, but uh, I don't seem to have either at this point. Um, just uh, working on trying to get all my ducks in a row, a bit of an income coming in, and yeah, keep going. So thanks for watching. Uh, we'll talk to you soon. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.